Hello everyone, this is a Johnny Aztec Media tutorial on a tutorial for Vegas Pro 9 and Vegas Pro 8. So what we'll be aiming to do in this video is basic video effects. So it'll be like making it look old, making it blurry, making it slow, making it fast, things like that. So go and open which, which either one you have, Vegas Pro or Vegas Pro 9, which has only just come out at this point in time. So far it's pretty good. So go ahead and open it. Now the first thing you'll notice the differences between Vegas Pro 8 and Vegas Pro 9 is the look. It has been more like toned up I suppose you could say to make it look like um, After Effects or, or any of those kind of programs Final Cut. This is supposed to pretty much compete with them pretty well so you can do Blu-ray, uh, edit Blu-rays so this is obviously meant for top quality professionals. This doesn't have tutorials or anything in it as it is meant for professionals so you have to learn with this whereas if you go for the lower down ones you uh, you can obviously get tutorials and stuff. So as this boots up, oh yeah you can also get plugins for these now at the moment as well. Um, so things like different effects and things which I have on here you might see some of them I'll point them out. They do cost money. Uh, I got my copy of Vegas Pro 9 from a friend he accidentally bought two copies that quite now you can do that, you know, but accidentally spent thousand pounds on video software. <laughs> Retard. Uh but yeah, I've got it uh very pleased with it. Uh got the disc next to me. Yeah. So it's it's only about a hundred megabytes to download actually. I felt when I was looking at it. A bit weird. Hmm. But yeah, installs at 660 megabytes. I was expecting a bit more from this, but hmm. I just can't get enough. I just can't get enough. Oh, did you see my videos? They were quite cool, didn't it? Anyway, so here we are. The new layout for Vegas Pro 9. Very nice. Does look a lot like something familiar, doesn't it? After Effects. So here we are. Right then. Firstly, I'm going to want to import my media. Uh, firstly, we're going to go for the blurring effect, I believe. If this is the right video. If it isn't, well, we'll do something else. Because. And there we have it. Unreliable, you know. PC always crashes. Oh, oh. Is it going to work? But yeah, I'll do a bit more describing what we're going to do. So, pretty much what you're doing is laying something over the top of the clip that will change the colour pretty much so it will distort it a bit if you're blurring if you're putting a gradient such as yeah here we go anyway so I don't, I don't want my audio so we're going to chat group remove from then just delete it now I'm going to video effects so I want this clip to be blurry go down to Radial blur. Now this clip is mine. I haven't stolen it off someone. Me and my friend have started free running. Yeah. <laughs> now you can use any of these, obviously, depending on how much blur you want. But uh, I like to go with the uh, FX Zero Romance Left Key. So just drag and drop it onto your clip, and it'll do that. Now, as you know, yeah, it's a bit blurred up, isn't it? Obviously, with this thing like you have the light rays, you can move it around move it around so there we go make it a bit less blurred so I'm just make it blurred not a bit to, to begin with so this is keyframing as well so you're learning a few skills here so you drag the clip along to where you want it to start blurring so I want it here now here you go strength drag it up a bit so it starts to blur, so you can get it instantly blurring by this time here. Then drag the blur up to what you want. Drag this around to where you want the blur to be. Drag your clip. I'm going to blur it a bit more. Move my blur position up to where he is. And carry on dragging it as he falls. 
move my blur uh, to him and then he lands and then the blurring is gone there we have it so we rewind it here we go standing up he jumps it blurs immediately the blurring follows him he's landing and it's disappearing so we close that we press play see how it looks here you go you're running up to it jumps blurs lands and it's gone pretty neat huh nice way to add emphasis to your clip <laughs> sounded a bit retarded didn't it so uh, let's go to just another random clip if this is the right one we might do some speeding up or make it look a bit old this is Dun, 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 dun. Oh yes, the good old jumping over a bin trick. <laughs> so, obviously, I want to speed this up. So, me bouncing, then me almost dying, <laughs> there I'm dead there. <laughs> so, find the bit in the clip that you want to have. I want to cut it there. So press S on your keyboard, and then split the clips. You can then delete the bit you don't want. Now I want to make this a bit slow motiony. So come to the very end, and where you see the normal way you make me drag it to make it longer, hold down the control button. Now drag it to about a reasonable size like that. You then drag it next to your clip and play. So as you can see, it's gone slower. Now, to add even more tricks with our last trick, we could add blur, the slow motion in there just blurs, but we could use something else, maybe we could use the wave effect so it goes all blurry when we land. So I'm going to use the medium, you drag and drop it onto your clip again. Now I don't want any at the moment so get rid of all of those we then find the bit where where I land there now we can distort it and then as we move along a bit further we can now undistorted that's only quite a basic one just to show you what you can do with it press play Ooh. pretty good huh so the other ones that we can do are obviously make the clip look older so go to explorer or whatever clip let's drag any clip and don't really care now we're going to make it look old, so film effect, as I said, if you want a World War II effect. Oh yes. Now this clip's around the wrong way, so let me just pan and crop it quickly. Wrong way again. There we go. Right then, go to your video effects again. And it should be film effects or film grain, depending on which one you want. I go film effects, very old film, low quality. I'm going to go the Syria 1908, make it look uber old. So, obviously, you can change how many grains you want. I'm going to have, yeah, that's about right, the tint bit. Yeah, that's good. So then as you can see, the clip is bouncing up and down because it's obviously quite old. So there we go. We can add different effects, but psh, don't really want to. Or you can even change the amount. So here we can move it up to make it look like we're moving. There we go. So let's close that. Go to the very start of our clip. Press play. There we go. We got an old fashioned looking clip of me jumping through a swing and then over a fence. 
<laughs> that was a basic Johnny Aztec music tutorial on basic video effects for you to learn. Uh, oh, I forgot, if you wanted to make your clip fa uh, faster, just hold control and drag it the other way. Uh, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and there'll be more videos on the way very soon.